I am the real vine, and my father is the gardener. He breaks off every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and he prunes every branch that does bear fruit, so that it will be clean and bear more fruit. You have been made clean already by the teaching I have given you. Remain united to me, and I will remain united to you. A branch cannot bear fruit by itself. It can do so only if it remains in the vine. In the same way, you cannot bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, and you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will bear much fruit, for you can do nothing without me. Those who do not remain in me are thrown out like a branch and dry up. Such branches are gathered up and thrown into the fire, for they are burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, then you will ask for anything you wish, and you shall have it. My Father's glory is shown by your bearing much fruit, and in this way you become my disciples. I love you, just as the Father loves me. Remain in my love. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands, and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. My commandment is this, Love one another, just as I love you. The greatest love you can have for your friends is to give your life for them. And you are my friends, if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because servants do not know what their master is doing. Instead, I call you friends, because I have told you everything I heard from my father. You did not choose me. I chose you and appointed you to go and bear much fruit. The kind of fruit that endures. And so, the Father will give you whatever you ask of him in my name. This, then, is what I command you. Love one another. If the world hates you, just remember that it has hated me first. If you belong to the world, then the world would love you as its own. But I chose you from this world, and you do not belong to it. That is why the world hates you. Remember what I told you. Slaves are not greater than their master. If people persecuted me, they will persecute you too. If they obeyed my teaching, they will obey yours too. But they will do all this to you because you are mine. For they do not know the one who sent me. They would not have been guilty of sin if I had not come and spoken to them. As it is, they no longer have any excuse for their sin. Whoever hates me, hates my father also. They would not have been guilty of sin if I had not done among them the things that no one else ever did. As it is, they have seen what I did. And they hate both me and my father. This, however, was bound to happen, so that what is written in their law may come true. They hated me for no reason at all. The Helper will come, the Spirit who reveals the truth about God and who comes from the Father. I will send him to you from the Father, and he will speak about me, and you too will speak about me because you have been with me from the very beginning. I have told you this so that you will not give up your faith. You will be expelled from the synagogues, and the time will come when those who kill you will think that by doing this they are serving God. People will do these things to you because they have not known either the Father or me. But I have told you this so that when the time comes for them to do these things, you will remember what I told you. I did not tell you these things at the beginning, for I was with you. But 
now I'm going to him who sent me. Yet none of you asks me where I am going. And now that I have told you, your hearts are full of sadness. But I am telling you the truth. It is better for you that I go away. Because if I do not go, the Helper will not come to you. But if I do go away, then I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will prove to the people of the world that they are wrong about sin, and about what is right, and about God's judgment. They are wrong about sin because they do not believe in me. They are wrong about what is right, because I am going to the Father and you will not see me anymore. And they are wrong about judgment, because the ruler of this world has already been judged. I have much more to tell you, but now it would be too much for you to bear. When, however, the Spirit comes, who reveals the truth about God, he will lead you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own authority, but he will speak of what he hears, and will tell you of things to come. He will give me glory, because he will take what I say and tell it to you. All that my Father has is mine. That is why I said that the Spirit will take what I give him and tell it to you. In a little while, you will not see me anymore. And then a little while later, you will see me. Some of his disciples asked among themselves, what does this mean? He tells us that in a little while we will not see him, and then a little while later we will see him. And he also says, it is because I am going to the Father. What does this a little while mean? We don't know what he is talking about. Jesus knew that they wanted to question him. I said, in a little while you will not see me. And then a little while later, you will see me. Is this what you are asking about among yourselves? I am telling you the truth. You will cry and weep, but the world will be glad. You will be sad, but your sadness will turn into gladness. When a woman is about to give birth, she is sad because the hour of suffering has come. But when the baby is born, she forgets her suffering because she is happy that a baby has been born into the world. That is how it is with you. Now you are sad. But I will see you again. And your hearts will be filled with gladness, the kind of gladness that no one can take away from you. When that day comes, you will not ask me for anything. I am telling you the truth. The Father will give you whatever you ask of him in my name. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive so that your happiness may be complete. I have used figures of speech to tell you these things. But the time will come when I will not use figures of speech, but will speak to you plainly about the Father. When that day comes, you will ask him in my name. And I do not say that I will ask him on your behalf. For the Father himself loves you. He loves you because you love me and have believed that I came from God. I did come from the Father, and I came into the world, and now I am leaving the world and going to the Father. Then his disciples said to him, Now you are speaking plainly, without using figures of speech. We know now that you know everything. You do not need to have someone ask you questions. This makes us believe that you came from God. Do you believe now? The time is coming, it is already here, when all of you will be scattered, each of you to your own home, and I will be left all alone. But I am not really alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you will have peace by being united to me. The world will make you suffer, but be brave. I have defeated the world. After Jesus finished saying this, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your son, 
so that the sun may give glory to you. For you gave him authority over all people, so that he might give eternal life to all those you gave him. And eternal life means to know you, the only true God, and to know Jesus Christ, whom you sent. I have shown your glory on earth. I have finished the work you gave me to do. Father, give me glory in your presence now, the same glory I had with you before the world was made. I have made you known to those you gave me out of the world. They belong to you, and you gave them to me. They have obeyed your word, and now they know that everything you gave me comes from you. I gave them the message that you gave me, and they received it. They know that it is true that I came from you, and they believe that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for those you gave me, for they belong to you. All I have is yours. And all you have is mine. And my glory is shown through them. And now I am coming to you. I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world. Holy Father, keep them safe by the power of your name. The name you gave me. So that they may be one. Just as you and I are one. While I was with them, I kept them safe by the power of your name, the name you gave me. I protected them, and not one of them was lost, except the man who was bound to be lost, so that the scripture might come true. And now I am coming to you, and I say these things in the world, so that they may have my joy in their hearts in all its fullness. I gave them your message, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. I do not ask you to take them out of the world. But I do ask you to keep them safe from the evil one. Just as I do not belong to the world, they do not belong to the world. Dedicate them to yourself by means of the truth. Your word is truth. I sent them into the world just as you sent me into the world. And for their sake, I dedicate myself to you in order that they too may be truly dedicated to you. I pray not only for them, but also for those who believe in me because of their message. I pray that they may all be one. Father, may they be in us, just as you were in me and I am in you. May they be one so that the world will believe that you sent me. I gave them the same glory you gave me, so that they may be one just as you and I are one. I and them, and you and me, so that they may be completely one, in order that the world may know that you sent me, and that you love them as you love me. Father, you have given them to me, and I want them to be with me where I am, so that they may see my glory, the glory you gave me. For you loved me before the world was made. Righteous Father. The world does not know you, but I know you. And these know that you sent me. I made you known to them, and I will continue to do so, in order that the love you have for me may be in them, and so that I also may be in them. 